Okay, what we are doing here is we are going to connect our iPhone to our Google Classroom. Uh, essentially what we're doing is we are going to scan documents, uh, completed schoolwork, papers, whatnot, uh, we're going to scan them into the phone and then transfer a converted PDF into, um, into the Google Drive, into your student's Google Drive. And then from there, uh, you'll be able to uh, upload it and syn synchronize it in, um, to your class assignments and attach them. So uh, what we're doing here is, again, there's actually a couple of different ways you can get a scanned PDF uh, off of your phone. Uh, there's some apps out there like CanScam and Scanner app and stuff like that. What we're using is the built-in Notes app, which is actually pretty good. So, But the first thing we need to do, uh, you need the Notes app, which is default, uh, and you also need the Google Drive app, which I have on my phone here, but I'm not, in, I'm not logged into um, my daughter's account. So what we're going to do is we're going to get logged in. Um, if you're already logged into a couple of accounts, you can add another one, which I'm going to do here. Um, there's my default four. We go ahead and add another account. Yes, I want to use Google.com. Okay, I'm going to find here. So it's your six-digit code, and then it's at STU for student, and then dot sandy dot net. Okay. There we go. And then here you're going to uh, type in your Students six digit code again. Signed in. There we go. Attaching over. And now I'm signed into Lucy's account. All right. Um, so what we can see here is you'll you'll see her drive. So um, you'll see your, your son and daughter's dr drive, which really doesn't make much of a difference here. Um, there's a couple things you can do. Um, there is a recents, I believe. Yeah, go to recents. Okay, so uh, recents is good because it will always show you what was mostly recent. So you can see some documents here that uh, we were testing with and stuff and whatnot. So um, what we're going to do from here is get out of it. Now that you're synced in with the um, Google Drive, you're going to go to your Notes app. And you're going to launch your Notes. I actually do not use Notes very often, so I don't have much here. Um, but you, if you do, you can create a new folder. Okay, that way you can just dump everything into there. Lucy's schoolwork. So then from here, let's say uh, we're ready to go. So let's say you have a document. You can't see this on the phone, but I am going to go ahead and scan a document. Um, so what you do, uh, you don't even have to type anything in, but you can. You can say um, assignment, uh, you know, what's today, 325. Um, you don't even have to do that because the PDF will actually auto scan uh, it for you. So uh, next thing you do is you hit the camera icon and then see how it says scan documents. So you don't want to take a photo or video. You don't want to access your library. You want to scan a document. And what that does is that actually converts it to a PDF. If you have it in auto, which you should, uh, it'll automatically find the edges. You can see the, the four corners there. You can adjust it if you need to um, and whatnot, but it usually does it pretty good. So we're going to keep scan. And there it is. Um, you can do a multi-page document here, um, but you can just, if you're just doing one, go ahead and hit save. And then there, there you can add notes and stuff, but again, unless you're actually taking notes and stuff, we're just using the notes app to extract PDFs. Um, so then what you do from here is you select the actual document itself, not the note itself, but the document itself, and it zooms in, and then you click the little share uh, icon in the upper right, and then you've got a whole bunch of options here. You probably do not have your Google Drive here, but in the, in the apps row here, what you're going to do is you're going to hit more, and then you're going to scroll down and there's drive. You can adjust that later on to make it uh, show up in your favorites. In fact, I'm going to do that. Uh, we're doing two things at once here. I'm going to click 
quick draw if when you click the plus button over here it sends it up to your favorites and then from the favorites you can drag and drop so um, I actually use messages in Evernote a lot I actually do not use the native mail app so I'll do some housekeeping on my own phone while I'm here uh, but the point is you got drive there so now you'll see the Google Drive show up yeah, the first three or four are your favorites okay so now uh, let me start over again we're here on this document, Assignment 325. It really doesn't matter what you call it there. Uh, go in, access the actual PDF itself, and then hit the Share button in the upper right. Hit Google Drive. Hit Google Drive. There it goes. Choose an account. Again, this is if you're logged into multiple accounts at once, uh, you'll want to choose. So here you're going to choose your son or daughter's account. Click on that. Uh, and then here you can actually, you, if you want to name it or put some notes on it, that's fine. Um, it, you'll just have to get, you know, you just have to kind of figure out what to do in the long run, especially if you're doing multiple, you know, of these a day. But um, you'll see it doesn't make much of a difference later on. Okay, I'm going to hit upload. So there it goes, uploading. And then we can be done. So we're going to get out of here. We're going to go back over to the drive. Now, if you remember, I'm showing recent. So what you do is you can hit the, the three, um, the hamburger icon menu in the upper left, go to recent. And then if you refresh this, you'll see right here. See, it says to be used with the March 30th note. And yeah, that's, a, that's just comments. And, so, and there it is. So this is actually on your Google Drive. The next step, <laughs> go figure. The next step, uh, you're going to transfer over to your computer. Okay, we are on the computer side of things now. And what we need to do is make sure we're logged into your student's uh, Google account, which you probably already are if you're trying to access Classroom and stuff like that. But I am not here. So we just got done uh, setting up our iPhone and uh, to be able to transfer a scan document into our Google Drive. So here I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. I know I'm not. So if you're logged into multiple accounts already, that's no problem. You can add another one. Click add another account. Um, we're not logged in there yet. So I am going to access. OK, I'm going to log in here. It's going to be a six digit code which is going to take you over here. You're going to enter your six-digit code. This is the same we just got done on the phone. It's your six-digit code at stu.sandy.net. It's going to take you over to Sandy Unified. Enter in your username and password. And then it's going to kick you back over to Google. OK. So here we are. I'm going to close that one down. I am now logged into uh, this is Lucy's account. So let's assume we are in the classroom. Yeah, it's kind of assume you already did this. So since I'm logged into multiple accounts, I got to choose again. So I'm going to use Lucy's. We're already logged in, so it shouldn't give me any more password. But here is Lucy's class. Okay, so if you remember, we just got done off of our phone uploading a PDF document into our Google Drive. Uh, and we can actually verify that by going to the Google Drive. We saw it on the phone app, but we can also see it here as well. So um, you can find it in one of these, but if you just hit recent, uh, here it is under today. And there it is. That was the document that we wanted to upload. Okay. So it's actually a PDF. Um, what, I, what I found while I'm here is the Google Notes app will name individual pages. It'll actually use character recognition, text recognition. So if you notice this, the actual name of the file is equal to the initial text there. So it did a OCR and name the file up there. So if it said Mrs. Bailey's homework assignment three, that's what it would call it. Uh, but anyway, it's there. Um, and that's why I like to use the recent mode because it, you know, really it makes it pretty obvious which one it is. So um, 1.32 p.m. That was just a little bit ago. Um, and then, OK, so let's say we are posted a new assignment. 
all about the census. Um, was this the original homework? I didn't even look at this. Oh yeah. So we're actually demoing this one. So this was our assignment. We printed it out at home, filled it out, and then that's what we just got done taking pictures of. So we are gonna go ahead and turn it in. So from here, you click the turn in button. Uh, turn in your work, with attachment. Uh, sorry. Up. Yeah, yeah. I needed to add or create. So I don't turn that in. That's the original assignment. Um, what I need to do is add the completed assignment here. So I'm going to add, you click on add. Uh, and from here, we're going to click Google Drive. And then from Google Drive, the cool thing here is it actually defaults to recent. And if you're just doing this all in one stop, it's probably going to be um, the the last, uh, the most one there. So there it is. I, I personally like list view because it shows me dates and stuff. 1.34 p.m. of it. So I'm going to click on that. Actually, I take that back. It was this one, 1.34, 1.32. This was the actual filled out one. So be careful with your naming conventions. Make sure you're choosing the right one. This is the one that I just goofed up on and re-added it to my drive. That's the original assignment from earlier this morning. We printed it out, and then that's the one there. Uh, I could go back and delete that one, which I will do. So we're going to add that, and then it, it sucks it up. So it's got the original assignment and then the handwritten scan, and then we're going to turn it in. Turning two attachments will be submitted. You could technically get rid of the first one, but there's no reason to do that. And then click turn in. And there you go. And now uh, you can see that it um, it was turned in. If you ever need to, if you need to correct it or redo it or something, you can hit unsubmit and it'll, it'll kind of start you over again. So that's pretty much it. Enjoy.